Hello dear students, good morning to each and every student. I all of you welcome back on Gatewala English channel and in this course we are studying signals and system and today we will complete our first chapter very lengthy okay and it is very much important guys. So, first of all tell me am I audible properly? Am I audible properly? Audio and video both are clear to you. First of all, tell me audio and video both are clear to you people. Audio and video both are clear. Tell me in comment box so that we can start the class. So, let us start. Let us start, guys. This is lecture number 29 classification of systems. And in this class, we will study linear and non linear system. Already we completed cause and non cause already completed static, dynamic, repetitive, to a stable and unstable signal. A system we will study. I think in last class just completed last class causal and non causal system. Just started causal and non causal system and we solved certain questions based on this topic. So, causal and non causal system, guys. Now, this delay x of t minus 2, tell me whether this is causal or non causal system. Causal or non causal system. Tell me in comment box, all of you. Causal or non causal delay. Put it delay by certain seconds, then the system will be causal or non causal. As we can see here, y of 0 t equal to 0. Calculate output at t equal to 0, here present output, t equal to 0 present output and here if you put t equal to 0, so this is your present output, it wants to calculate output at t equal to 0 and for that you required input at present at t equal to minus 2, that means if this is the present then with respect to this it will be your past, correct, you can take one more question, one more example like t equal to 1, one positive value, negative value and uh, t equal to 0 you can put. So, if you put t equal to 1, then for this minus 1. So, again you can see here, if t equal to 1 is the present, then t equal to minus 1 will be a past. So, here also guys, present output depends on past put of the system. Similarly, you can put t equal to minus 2, one negative value, y of minus 2 here, y of minus 2, so it will be x of minus 4. Again you can see, again you can see here, present output depends on past input. In all cases, present output depends only on past input. That is why if delay is present in what always causal system, always causal here, it will be always causal system, fine, always causal system. I hope all the students are getting, okay. So, this is the causal system. Now, next question number 7 x of t equal to t into x of t, sorry y of t equal to t into x of t, tell me whether this is causal or non causal, of course, no operation perform on this, there is no operation perform on t, that is how you can say it is a causal only, y of 1, y of 1 that is 1 into x of 1, y of minus 2, then it will be what, minus 2 into x of minus 2, this you can see, Present output depends on present input, present output depends on present input. So, of course, no operation performed on this variable t, 
no operation means no time scaling no time reversal no delay no advance so that's why that's how you can say we can say the given system is said to be causal system it's also what causal system correct next question next what about this one guys y of t equal to x of t into sin t y of t is equal to x of t into sin t again we can see here again see here function of t multiplied that's why this time variant as i told but for causal you have to check only variable present dependent variable present in so this is only t guys no operation performed on this independent variable t no time scaling no time reversal no delay no shifting correct so that's why again we can say directly it is a causal system directly causal system okay see here let me take one more question this one again this is also causal system as we can see here again no operation perform on this variable no operation perform this variable so again we can say present output depends only on present input so it is again causal system for an observation just we have seen if there is a time delay in input signal y of t is equal to x of like t minus 2 so we got this is a causal system delay causal system correct but suppose but suppose time advanced operation perform time advanced advanced operation perform then tell me will it be a causal or non causal time advanced suppose giving one question y of t x of suppose t plus 3 so will it be causal or non causal x of t plus 3 advanced okay left shift of input signal then tell me it is the causal or non causal tell me the answer in comment box causal or non causal causal or non causal so you can see here put t equal to 0 it wants to calculate output at t equal to 0 then y of 0 which is equal to x of so plus 3 to 3 now you want to calculate output at t equal to 0 and for that you required input present at t equal to 3 so present output depends on future input if your t equal to 0 is a present present output with respect to this is your future is your future input correct agar aapka if if it is your present output then it will be your future input so present output depends on future input of the given system that's why we can say it is a non causal system non causal non causal this is time invariant correct already though both the systems are time invariant but this is causal and this will be your non causal system fine you can check one more input also suppose t equal to 1 if you want to take t equal to 1 also guys like y of 1 equal to x of 4 again you can see here present output depends on future input suppose you want to take t equal to minus 2 then here y of minus 2 then it will be x of minus 2 then 1 so present output depends on future input so again this is also this is also causal system guys sorry non causal system correct in this case also given system is non causal so observation is number 1 if y of t any operation performed any time scaling operation per time uh, operation performs perform on independent variable time like alpha t time expansion time compression time reversal then also 
then also what causal non causal system like x of square or e power t or sin t correct that is independent variable t is also function of t correct the bracket the bracket there is a variable independent variable and if that independent variable also function of t like t square t cube t power n t by 2 or 1 by uh, root t or we can say uh, e power t sin t then also it is a this case general n then also it is a non causal system like y of t is equal to x of power t then also non causal system suppose you are writing y of t equal to x of sin t tell me this is causal or non causal put t equal to minus pi if you put t equal to minus pi then here sin minus pi 0 x of 0 so y of minus pi equal to what x of 0 again present output depends on future input this case also then advanced operation like x of t plus t like this so in all these cases guys the given system will be always non always it will be non causal system right it will be a non causal system. fine is this clear to each and everyone okay very good so next question x of n minus x of n minus 1 so this is n guys and this is n minus 1 that's why directly we can say the given system is here n the given system is causal system one system is said to be causal okay now next question question number 11 y of t equal to t power t power x of t again see this is you have to check this variable only no operation perform on this variable present in the bracket so that's why here also directly you can say it is causal system okay next now see here which operation perform time reversal operation perform so it is non causal system time reversal correct here time reversal operation perform Time reversal operation perform. That's why the given system is what you can say. Given system is non causal. Given system is said to be non causal, guys. Fine. Okay. So next question, guys. Next question. See the next question. Tell me this is causal. Tell me this is causal or non causal. This is very much interesting question causal or non causal now 2n minus k now this is completely depends on the value of relationship between k and n the value of k guys value of k completely depends on the value of k now see how to solve this type of question okay y of n guys y of n let us consider here n so consider this is your y of n here y of n Okay, variable n y of n okay and this is your input present this is your present output present output and if input is here like this suppose if input is here uh, x of 2n minus k then it will be your future input then it will be your future input so now you can see here now we can see here this 2n minus k 2n minus k is greater than n of course then and then this is possible correct 
if this 2n minus k is greater than n, then and this, this condition is possible. Then and then this present output depends on the future input. So, first we can write here 2n minus k greater than n, greater than n, then we can say present output depends on future input. Present output depends on future input and we can say it is what non causal system. non causal system correct so it will be it will be here k less than n guys the first condition is k less than n yes or no k opposite side n here so k less than n and the given system is said to be first conclusion non causal and of course of course if q n minus k less than or equal to n equal to this n equal to 2n minus k or less than here, here suppose present here uh, x of 2n minus k, so it will be your past, it will be your past in this case system is always causal. So, 2n minus k less than or equal to n implies, implies k, k greater than or equal to 2n then the given system is said to be causal. So, this is what conditionally causal and non-causal. If your k greater than or equal to n, then the given system is always causal. But if your k less than n, then the given system is non-causal. Okay. I hope all the students are getting here to each and everyone. Fine. Very good. Now, let us take one more question cos x of n, cos x of n, again we can see here, this is x of n only, no operation performed on dependent variable n, of course, the given system, the causal system, correct. Now, next operation, uh, next question, now summation minus infinite to n x of k, here. So, y of n, y of n here x of infinite minus infinite then plus up to x of n guys, correct. So, we can see here, we can see here this is y of n and this is x of n only, ok. So, y of n here this is x of n. So, of course, present output depends on present input and all these are what past input x of n is your present, y of n is your present, then x of n also present. And with respect to this, all these are, all these are past input. So, present output depends on present input and past input of the given system. That is why the given system is said to be causal system. The given system is said to be causal system. Fine. Very good. Now, next question y of n is equal. Now, this is very much important. Now, tell me this is causal or non causal system. Causal or non causal. So, y of n again y of n summation x minus infinite up to x of 2n. Now, we can see here this is your present, then 2n will be your future, if n, your y of n, then y of 2n will be here, n equal to 1, then it is y of 1, n equal to 2, then it is x of 2 guys, correct. Say for example, n equal to 1, it is n equal to 1, then it will be y of 1 and it will be x of 2. So, this is present output, q means present output and this is your future input. So, we can see here, in this case summation minus n by 2, 2n or we can say n by 2 also, 2n or n by 2 again time scaling operation perform or not, time scaling operation perform on the variable n. So, that is why the given system is said to be what, given system is said to be here, this is also on cause.
non causal system fine now next similarly integration minus infinite to t guys integration see minus infinite to t so minus infinite to t minus infinite to t guys okay then it is what causal system can no operation perform so that's why causal system said to be causal system it is said to be causal system and this case the t by 4 guys by 4 operation performed by 4 time scaling operation performed that's why it is this non causal system correct it is said to be non causal system guys fine this said to be non causal system clear hai okay so this is all about causality of the given system how to identify whether the given system is causal or non causal based on the input and output in second chapter we will see the causality of the system based on the impulse response of the system h of t in laplace transform we will see uh, causal or non causal system based on the roc region of convergence okay based on the pole location laplace transform okay so next is next classification is is static and dynamic system guys the same as causal a system is said to be static if present output depends only on present input of the given system only on present input of the given system then it is said to be static if present output depends on future input and even past input of the system then it then it is not said to be static it is said to be dynamic system guys okay dynamic system so present output should depends only on present input now any operation performed on the independent variable t like t minus 2 t plus 2 t by 2 2t or minus t on any operation any kind of operation perform on the independent variable t guys okay here t y of t is equal to transformation on x of t correct right? now any type of operation perform on the independent variable t guys then always system is dynamic if there is no operation perform on the independent variable t okay if only x of t if only x of t in the given signal only on x of t then and then static otherwise dynamic in each and every case each and every case guys like differentiation integration also because differentiation integration are coming due to what like inductor and capacitor and inductor and capacitor are what memory storage element or energy storage element correct so remember this thing any kind of operation perform on the independent variable t always system is dynamic it's not static say for example first check whether given system is static or dynamic static or dynamic the system is static or dynamic now i told you guys see here this is time x uh, compression so definitely it will be what dynamic only because see y of 1 y of 1 is equal to x of present output depends on future input that's why it is not a static it is a dynamic guys what dynamic system present output depends on future input dynamic system for system to be static present output depends only on it should depends only on present input of the given system now next question x square of t tell me this is static or dynamic so here there is no operation performed guys no operation performed on the independent variable t correct no operation performed on the independent variable t so that's why given system is static like y of 1 is equal to x square of 1 y of minus 2 equal to 
एक्स स्क्वायर ऑफ माइनस टू वाई ऑफ जीरो इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर ऑफ जीरो तो इन ईच एंड एवरी गेस यू कैन सी हियर प्रेजेंट आउटपुट डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रेजेंट इनपुट प्रेजेंट आउटपुट डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रेजेंट इनपुट प्रेजेंट आउटपुट डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रेजेंट इनपुट सो इवन सिस्टम इज सेड टू बी एटिक एटिक सिस्टम नॉट डायनामिक ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन x of minus t of course time reversal operation guys time reversal operation that's why it is dynamic guys dynamic system correct dynamic system now next next alpha t as i told you guys time scaling operation is also dynamic dynamic system now next t square this is also dynamic system guys why see here already i told you any any kind of operation perform on the independent variable t like y of 2 guys t is squared that is 4 guys and a 4 so this is what again present output depends on future input so it is also dynamic system it also dynamic system okay next number 6 guys this is also dynamic it is non causal non sorry it is a causal but dynamic system guys we can say each and every static system are always causal but vice versa may or may not be true causal system may or may not be static it can be it can be a dynamic also say for example this one this is what causal system but it's dynamic because present output depends on past input y of 0 is equal to x of minus 2 you can see here present output depends on what past in that's why it is what dynamic system is the dynamic dynamic system fine right? now t into x of t no operation perform on no operation perform on the independent variable t Get T only. That's why it is static system. Static system. Yes. Now next. X of T into sin T again. There is no operation performed on variable T. That's why it's also static system. Again, this is also static. Operation perform on the independent variable. It's also static system. Only t. That's why. Okay. Static system. Fine. Now here, see, delay. That's why dynamic. dynamic system next question number e power x of t again see there is no operation perform on the independent variable that's why this is also static system static static system correct see static system now next y of n equal to 3 x of minus n y of n is equal to x of minus n y of n equal to 3 x of minus n this is critical dynamic
so here time reverse operation of course it will uh, time reverse operation by dynamic dynamic system time reverse operation that's why dynamic system now again 2n minus k guys see 2n k time scaling operation that's why we also dynamic system Now number fourteen, cos x of n no operation perform on the variable. That's why this is static system. What static? Static system, guys. Okay, this is the static system. Now here summation minus infinite to n. Now summation present, guys. As I told you, summation that means that means present output depends on past input. So that's why is what. dynamic system summation accumulation also it is known as what kind of accumulation also it is dynamic accumulation dynamic system okay again this is also dynamic again this is accumulation this is non causal and dynamic previous one was causal and dynamic this is dynamic system now this last one integration integration also is also dynamic and this kind of integration also t by 4 is also dynamic system most of the systems are dynamic guys okay. dynamic dynamic system. Here, so dynamic system. Fine. Very good. So this is all about what static and dynamic system. Now next classification is. Now next classification. Uh, two classifications are remain. Stable and stable system, invertible and non-invertible. Stable and stable system. Then we will complete invertible, non-invertible. when a system is said to be stable a system is said to be stable if it produces bounded output for each and every bounded input input should be bounded a system is said to be stable if it produces bounded output for each and every bounded input okay. the input must be bounded input must be find finite check the system stability so here input must be bounded guys input must be bounded and for bounded input bounded signal for bounded input if it produces produces bounded output for bounded input it produces bounded output then it is known as pibo pibo stable system pibo stable system okay that means we can say the input so input is what magnitude of x of t magnitude should be less than equal to mx magnitude also because plus one also finite amplitude and minus one also finite amplitude so that's why we are considering magnitude guys so magnitude of x of t that is mx less than equal to less than infinite that this meaning meaning of this is what bounded input signal okay input signal says finite amplitude at each and every instant of time okay over the signal exist and for this input it, it produces the bounded output that means mod y of t I am taking mod y of t because I told you guys plus two also finite amplitude bounded signal minus two also less than or equal to magnitude of y it should be less than infinite. So to check the given system stability input must be bounded guys input must be bounded and you can take any bounded input signal to check the system stability any is the bounded signal so best bounded signal test signal is test signal. 
test signal test means to check test the system stability test is y of t is equal to y of t is equal to sorry x of t not y of t input signal x of t take x of t is equal to Test signal take x of t is equal to u of t. Unit step function and for discrete time u of n. Unit step function is the best, is the best test signal. Right? Unit step function is the best test signal to check the system stability. Okay. So, what you have to do simply put x of t equal to u of t and check whether y of t is bounded or unbounded. Signal. If it is bounded, then always stable. If it is unbounded, then it is unstable. Okay, simply replace x of t with u of t, then find the output. Okay, so let us start with the very first question. Check the whether the given system is stable or unstable. So first is y of t equal to x square of t. Square of t. Now, if you put the finite input for each and every finite input, of course you will get the finite output because x square of t. Suppose time taking. Then here I am writing output x of t output y of t consider input like u of t bounded input only okay put must be bounded for u of t it will produce square of t correct and u square of t is nothing but u of t so this is your you can say here this is your bounded input and for this bounded input produces bounded output it is known as what PIBO. PIBO stable system. PIBO stable system. Bounded input, bounded output, stable system, guys. Correct? PIBO stable system. Fine. So, next, T into X of T. Now, check whether the given system is stable or unstable. So again, here I am taking for this output x of t by u of t input must be bounded guys and best bounded test signal is u of t so replace x of t with u of t if you replace x of t with u of t then output will be output y of t will be u of t t into u of t which is nothing but the ramp function now ramp function is bounded or unbounded signal is increasing function at t equal to infinite amplitude is infinite we are getting unbounded output for the bounded input okay. so what Unbounded output. Okay. So for bounded input, guys, for bounded input, we are getting unbounded output. Correct? Unbounded output. One system is unstable system. Correct? One system is said to be unstable. Fine. Okay, clear. Each and every student.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सपोज वाई ऑफ टी इक्वल टू ई पावर एक्स ऑफ टी चेक वेदर द गिवन सिस्टम बाउंडेड ऑन नॉट प्लेस एक्स ऑफ टी ऑफ टी बाउंडेड एंड दिस बाउंडेड इनपुट फाइन द आउटपुट हियर टी पावर ऑफ टी टी ऑफ टी मीन्स इट पावर वन और टी ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड इट इज टी ऑफ टी इक्वल टू जीरो लेस देन जीरो नथिंग बट वन इफ यू ड्रॉ दिस वन आउटपुट आई ऑफ टी तो फॉर टी ग्रेटर देन जीरो आउटपुट इज सी करेक्ट कॉन्स्टेंट टी एंड फॉर टी लेस देन जीरो आउटपुट इज सी फॉर जीरो दैट इज सी Greater than zero. Greater than zero is one, and t less than zero is t greater than zero is e, and t greater than t less than one is one. So again, this is also bounded output. Then. What bounded output? So we are getting bounded output for the bounded input. That's why one system bounded output, bounded output, bounded output for the bounded input. P I B O. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ समेशन गाइस समेशन इज बाउंडेड और अनबाउंडेड गाइस सो इफ यू टेक एक्स ऑफ एन इक्वल टू यू ऑफ एन दिस इज द बाउंडेड सिग्नल बाउंडेड इनपुट फाइंड आउटपुट फॉर दिस बाउंडेड इनपुट वाई ऑफ एन इज समेशन ए इज माइनस इन एन यू ऑफ एन यू ऑफ एन नाउ इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ यू ऑफ एन वन देन इट विल यू ऑफ एन वन फॉर एन इट इज इक्वल टू एन इट इज फॉर एन लेस देन जीरो करेक्ट तो द वाई ऑफ एन वाई ऑफ एन विल बी To replace u of n equal to one, and it will be from equal to n. You have to do the summation of one sample value one from zero to n. So how many times we will get this? How many times you will get this? So y of n will be of course see to the summation from n equal to zero to five, one. Okay. So here zero to five that means one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. This for n equal to zero. n equal to zero, n equal to one, n equal to two, n equal to three, n equal to four, n equal to five. So one plus one. So that's total. So it will be five plus one. Five plus one. That's why we can say here the answer is the value of n is n plus one. And this is u of n. This is u of n. That's why n greater than or equal to So y of n will be n plus one u of n. Okay, or you can write u of n plus one also. Same thing. Now tell me, this is bounded or unbounded? Of course, this is unbounded. Correct? Then this is n into u of n, n into u of n, r of n plus u of n. The r of n increasing function. R of n is the increasing function. That's why the given system is what? Unstable because this is unbounded output. For the bounded input, we are getting unbounded output. But on unstable system, x of two n. Now again, we can see for the bounded input, get the bounded output. X of n is Two of n, then y of n will be of n for bounded input. 
वी आर गेटिंग बाउंडेड आउटपुट बाउंडेड इनपुट बाउंडेड आउटपुट दैट्स वाई इक्वेंस सिस्टम क्या बी ओ सिस्टम उंडेड इनपुट बाउंडेड आउटपुट स्टेप इंटीग्रेशन ऑफकोर्स एज समेशन माइनस इन फाइव टू एन द अनस्टेबल सिस्टम हियर इंटीग्रेशन ऑल्सो अनस्टेबल सिस्टम एक एक्स ऑफ टी ऑफ टी वाई ऑफ टी माइनस ऑफ टी ऑफ टाउ of tau tau which is equal to r of t so again we can see y of t r of t what bounded output bounded input for this bounded input we are getting bounded output that's why one system is said to be ibo unbounded output one system said to be stable system unstable system guys it is unstable system fine now next classification guys this is all about stable and unstable system and this is the last classification last topic of this chapter okay then we will start the next chapter number 2 guys okay so last topic here invertible and non invertible system a system is said to be invertible if it produces different output for each and every different input if the system is produces the system produces different output for each and every different input then it is said to be invertible otherwise non invertible suppose if system produces the same output for the different input then it is said to be non invertible okay so here it is written a system is said to be invertible if if it produces different output for each different input if system produces same output for different input then it is said to be non invertible say for example simple example i am taking y of t equal to suppose x square of t okay now you can take any input check whether the given system invertible or not invertible so based test signals are again u of t there need not require it is not necessary to take bounded input guys You can take any type of input signal to check the system compatibility. Okay, uh, try to take one positive input and one negative input. That means, suppose x of t here, then I am writing y of t. If input u of t, so u of t, then it will be what? Yeah, u of t square of t. Think what? U of t on. This is plus u of t. Plus u of t. Now let us consider minus u of t. If you take minus u of t, minus u of t, then it is minus u of t square equal to what? Again u of t only. U of t only. So we can see here, we are giving different input. We are taking different input, and for different input, we are getting the same output. We are getting same output for the different input. That's why the given system is said to be what? non invertible given system is said to be non invertible correct and if it is non invertible system then it's a inverse system does not exist it is said to be it is non invertible non invertible it is said to be non invertible system fine here
नेक्स्ट लेट्स टेक एग्जांपल लेट अस कंसीडर सिस्टम बाय टू यूनिट्स इट इज एक्स ऑफ टी व्हाट विल बी आई ऑफ टी यस आई ऑफ टी को के बाय टू यूनिट्स एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी इज इन्वर्टिबल और नॉन एडिबल राइट शिफ्ट बाई टू यूनिट तो ऑफकोर्स इन्वर्टिबल यू कैन सी हियर फॉर द डिफरेंट इनपुट यू विल गेट द डिफरेंट आउटपुट ऑफकोर्स लाइक यू ऑफ टी माइनस टू आउटपुट ऑल्सो यू ऑफ टी माइनस टू इफ इनपुट इज माइनस यू ऑफ टी माइनस टू आउटपुट ऑल्सो माइनस यू ऑफ टी माइनस टू सो हियर फॉर ईच एंड एवरी डिफरेंट इनपुट यर गेटिंग द डिफरेंट आउटपुट सो इट विल बी द इन्वर्टिबल सिस्टम ऑफकोर्स इज वॉट इन्वर्टिबल सिस्टम invertible system and if invertible system is given then sorry if invertible system is there then it's a inverse system also exist inverse system means by giving output this output of this system to its inverse system you will get the original output if you give provide output of this system to its inverse system then you will get the original output original input by x of t that means what suppose if inverse system exists so how to get how to get again x of t guys t is the right shift by 2 become x of t minus 2 now what kind of operation you have to perform on y of t so that again it become x of t guys so right shift by 2 so if you perform left shift by 2 in y of t left shift by 2 in y of t then you will get again x of t what i am saying guys suppose we are performing operation on y of t plus 2 guys correct so y of t plus 2 replacing t with t plus 2 right hand side also replacing t plus 2 correct left hand side t with t plus 2 right hand side also t with t plus 2 will be x x of t so you are getting your original output so that's why we can say y of t plus 2 is your inverse system y of t is equal to suppose suppose let us consider y of t is equal to y of t plus 2 first inverse system guys are you getting So z of t equal to y of y of t plus two is the inverse system. That means what this output inverse system, then it will z of t advanced by or right shift. Units. Here, get of t with y of, and it will what x of t. So y of t plus two, it's inverse system, guys. Inverse system, fine. In this way, we can check the invertibility, the given system, and we can find its inverse system also. Okay, very good. Now next, take one more question. y of t equal to x of t tell me now what are the different test that we can use what are the different test sigma check the given system is invertible or not different different test sigmas you can take now here it is not necessary to take bounded input you can take unbounded also no issue okay this is a x of t then you can take y of t one positive input Negative input, and if function of t is multiplied with x of t, then take delta t. 
function of t f of t multiply with the input signal x of t then it will be better to take t and minus t you can get the answer is the discrete time signal x of n then you can take f of n f of minus u of n correct like u of t minus u of t u of n minus u of n similarly function of n multiply with the input signal x of n then take del n n minus del take del n and minus del n fine clear to each and every one fine okay very good now let us solve some question based on this check the whether check whether the following system is invertible or not y of t equal to x of t tell me invertible or non invertible see you can say only x of t operation perform on the amplitude like no x square of t mod x of t x of t x of t minus 1 okay the input x of t of t of course output also of t input minus u of t again output minus any kind of input like del t r of t also you can take no output also del t take minus del t output also minus del t. as we can see here they are getting different output for each and every different input so that's why Vertible, vertible system. Okay. Next question. Next question. Y of t equal to x of two t. Vertible or non-vertible? Y of t is equal to x of two t. Tell me whether this is invertible or non-invertible. So of course, vertible. Time compression. Time compression, vertible or non-vertible. X of output by y of. If you take f of t, and it will of the output again it is like y of. T. Okay, minus y of t minus again it is minus y of. Correct. Now. Del t del output is one by two del correct minus del t output is minus minus by two del t minus one by two del t as we can see here for each and every different input we are getting the different output. So this time compression operation is what vertical and what is its inverse system? Compression by factor of two. So how to get the original signal from y of t? So expansion by two. If you do the expansion of y of t by the factor of two, and you will get x of t guys. So it is invertible system. Expansion is a uh, sorry compression, the invertible system. Invertible system. Okay. And what is its inverse system? So inverse of expansion is uh, sorry, inverse of compression is expansion by the same scaling factor. Vertical. Inverse. Inverse system. Inverse system is z of t. Let's consider output of inverse system is z of t and input is y of t. Of course, this output y of t. You have to give it in its inverse system. Okay. Input of its inverse system is y of t and output is z of t. So z of t equal to what? Y of by 2 guys. You have to do the expansion by the same scaling factor. So y of t by 2. Fine.
Z of t is equal to y of t by 2. Okay, this is your inverse system. Fine. Okay, let me take one more question. Like mod x of t. So mod x of t is a invertible or non integral. Check. Of t. Y of t. Take in of t. Mod. You take minus u of t mod minus of t of t correct mod so we can see here you are giving the different input but due to this mod you are getting the same output so for different input they are getting the same output that is why the given system is said to be non invertible and we cannot find the inverse system of non invertible system for different input we are getting the different output that is why the given system is said to be invertible system. So let us let us try one more question. N into x of n. Now see, as I told you function of n is multiply with input signal then it will be better to take tail n as a input guys y of n function of any function n multiply with in then take x of n equal to ln and minus ln ln and minus tail correct take x of n equal to del n minus tail better okay ln this is output input and this is got any function it is n any function of n In our question it is y of n is n into x of n take the different input and check the output guys x of n y of n i told you take del n first is x of n equal to del n then it will be n into del now the product property guys the product property here n not equal to 0 to the product property i told you already in this classes if you put n not equal to 0 here maybe n equal to n not equal to 0 so ln equal to 0 now minus ln minus ln so here n minus del n guys then again yeah here also again here also we can use the product property not equal to 0 that will be 0 minus del product property so we can see here we are giving the different input and for each and every different input we are getting the same output we are getting the same output both in the both the cases we are getting output 0 for different input we are getting the same output that is why system is said to be non-invertible what non-invertible system and as the system is non-invertible system we can we cannot find its inverse system Fine. Now let me take one more question. X of n into sine. Again, again we can see function of n is multiply with x of n. So 
fraction of n is multiplied with x of n. So again, here also it will be better to take x of n equal to del n and minus del n. Check the given system invertibility. Function of n is multiplied x of n by e of n. The del n x of n equal to del n x of n del n n equal to del n. So it is del n in sine pi pi by n pi pi by 6 into n okay so here n not n not equal 0 here it will be del n into sine pi pi by 6 sine 0 guys sine 0 sine 0 is 0 and 0 multiply by del n it is 0 guys correct it is 0 now next is minus del n minus del n here minus del n into sine sine pi pi by n which is equal to again n not zero again we can see not is yeah not is zero it here guys correct what will you get so here it will be minus del n again sine zero guys correct we put n equal to 0 sin 0 0 then again we will get the 0 again we can see here for the different input here also we are getting the same output this also that is why given system said to be 1 in 1. system is said to be non inverted fine here everyone what non invertible system now x of n into x of n minus 1 product x of n into x of n minus 1 is invertible or non invertible invertible or non invertible x of n take input x of n equal to e of n for this input get output of n of n minus 1 ok and if you take out input minus u of n output x of n equal to minus u of n here it is minus n minus 1 it will be u of n into u of n minus 1 so what non invertible again for different input we are getting the same output on invert non invertible system correct it is known as non invertible Now e power x of t for x of t guys multiple multiple again you can see here exponential of input so it is invertible because for different input get a different output x of t i of we put x of t equal to f of t output get i of power f of t then minus u of t i of t is f of t fine
for different input, they are getting the different output that is why invertible. What invertible? Invertible system and as this is the invertible system, it is an inverse system. What is it is an inverse system? So, how to get uh, x of t again? So, ln system is ln. First system head of t is ln of is e ln of y of t ln of y of t. It is an inverse system then. For x of t is an invertible system. You can take del t minus del t also again, ok. Invertible system. Now, summation guys, summation, accumulation minus infinite to n x of k is invertible or non -dipole? Yes, summation is a invertible guys, summation is invertible, correct. Summation operation is invertible and what is it say inverse system? Difference, first difference, see, this invertible guys take the different input, get a different output. Suppose uh, x of n del n, get the output y of n is a summation del k, already we have seen k is minus in plus in of n is odd and if you take minus del n, minus then y of n is it minus infinite n minus in minus l k minus of n ok. So, different input different output invertible system. So, different uh, accumulation as the summation accumulation invertible is the invertible system correct invertible system an invertible system what is the inverse system so difference guys if you take the difference first difference of u of n take y of n equal to u of n you got how to get x of n how to get del n u of n minus u of n minus 1 Ok, if y of n minus y of n minus y of n minus y of n minus u of n minus u of n minus 1 tail n guys, you are, get, you are getting the original signal, here you got the original signal guys, that is why here what vertical system and this first system First system of summation is first system first system is head of n difference first difference guys y of n minus y of n minus one ok fine so in this way we can check the system invertibility fine. So, let us finish this lecture here guys, this is the end of this chapter. Now, this uh, expansion, compression, expansion, then decimation and interpolation, this all are very good question that we will continue in the next part ok. From next class, we will uh, I will start second chapter also. All of you, thank you so much watching me live on Gatewall English channel and please provide your valuable feedback after completion of this. Next part, we will continue in the subsequent module. Thank you guys. Thank you.